Hey guys, it's Epco Psych Repair. Today we're working on a 2012 Zuma. This is my own. Um, it's one of the things I do uh, for some extra cash is I buy these, fix them up, and sell them. Uh, you can see this one's in a little bit rough condition right here. But um, one of the cool things is that if you start looking up the parts for these straight from Yamaha, the parts are not that expensive. So I don't know why my camera is not focusing right now. Apologize for that. So uh, you can see that things are a little rough right here. This panel it had on it, I took it off when I uh, fixed the key. Got a key for it. Made sure that it ran first, and when it ran, I ordered up some parts. And here's all the parts. I got bags of parts here. I got grips, turn signal lights. I got um, the reflectors for the side, new levers. I got all plastic pieces in here. Every painted part is going to be replaced. Uh, here's the rear fender. Here's the, you know, the headlight bezels, the big plastic down there. I got um, new turn signals, new mirrors, new side panels. And surprisingly, everything on this scooter that I got was straight from Yamaha and uh, and I'll give you a cost of, of you know how much everything was combined to give you an idea uh, it, it really wasn't that bad and if you can get these cheap enough you can redo these whole things make them like new again and then flip it and make some cash so um, let's get this thing started When you get new pieces, sometimes you got to transfer transfer a couple things over. Metal clip, the rubber seal here, and the rubber for the gas cap cover. All right, guys. So now it's time to dress up the uh, front end here. I got all new parts sitting here, so uh, let's get this done. It's going to be a lot easier. There we go. That's much better. Looking good. All right, so for any parts that I'm not replacing, which is very few on this, it's just going to be this back piece here and the little trim piece below the uh, triple. Is uh, I use some of this uh, Turtle Wax Trim Restore. This stuff works incredibly well, and uh, just put it on there, and you let it sit, and it will, you know, bring everything back to life. Look at that. There's a difference. Old, new. So let me get this all wiped down. All right, so the best way to do this is to put these two side panels on and then put this rear one on. The rear tail piece has a little hook that goes on the top of the tail light and then it has the two little tabs right here and here and then two screws there and there. 
And then after you do that, you put the seat tray and everything back in here so you can fish the wires through because you're going to have to get in the front to get these wires up into the, uh, the seat pan. And then you put the front cover on. All right, now to get this front piece in, it's a little complicated. There's a couple things you got to do. First off, I took the, uh, this plastic piece from uh, under the bars right here. You can see the uh, section. I just took the top triple, the uh, top bar clamp mounts off, and I picked the bars up, and there's a Phillips head screw in the middle of this, and I took this to get it out of the way. All right, that's the first thing you got to do. This piece right here goes through the uh, plastic piece here, so you have to put the plastic piece on and then lay this on there and kind of pull it back to get the screw that holds it in. So with this piece up out of here, we'll be able to fit it in. It hooks in the bottom first. There's a couple tabs in the bottom, just got to line up. Alright, so it's hitting the bar right now, so you have to lift the bar to get it up underneath it. Alright, so now we're below the bar. So we're going to go back down and kind of work the rest of these uh, little tabs in at the bottom. So there's a screw down in there, that flathead. It's, oh, it's a Phillips actually. Okay, that one right there. And you have to push this in, pull this back. You got to take this 10 and this 10 out so that you can flex this whole front forward here. You can move this thing forward and get in there. It's a pain in the ass. I probably dropped the screw down in there three times and, and got it out through a hole with a magnet right here. And uh, so... Enjoy that one. So anyway, we got this back in. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop all these little tabs in on the side and get this thing mounted and put those two tens back in the front. All right, so time to swap out these grips. I already did the other one. Made a video on uh, how to swap out those throttle tubes. Check that video out. Now, this grip right here is glued on. And this freaking thing, I've never seen anything like this. Let me try to get you focused. There we go. This thing is super bonded on here. Look at this. I mean, I've been cutting. I have to cut that right there, but it is bonded. Whatever they use, I want, I want some of this stuff because your grips will never move with this stuff on here. So let me continue cutting this thing off and clean up this uh, tube so I can get a new one on. I just use some of this uh, plastic ad adhesive, put some in the grip and on the bar. When you get it all the way on, just make sure you rotate it some so that it uh, coats the whole inside of the grip. And it's on. Alright, with all the tension released on the uh, on the rear brake, now it's loose, and I'll be able to just pull it off. Drop the new one on. See it? Now the top's going to tighten down, and then you just spin the bottom one on, and that's just a lock nut on the bottom. All right, so the uh, front brake side's a little different. It's got a 10 millimeter on the bottom and a 10 millimeter on the top. Again, the bottom is the lock, so we're gonna take that one out first. In the top one. There's gonna be a spring inside of here, so don't lose the spring. Pull it out, just be aware. All right, you can see the spring right there. It just sits inside there, and it sits inside a hole on this side. These pivots right here, put a little grease on the pivot right there. All right, this side's done. Let's put some mirrors on. Reverse thread on the right side. Yep, even got all these new too. Let's get those on. Oh yeah. Looking good. All right, so I kicked a couple things out of here and turned it into a paint shop for a minute. I got the uh, the rear rack here I painted black. I got the front fender there. And I have the meter cover sitting over there drying. So let's get these all mounted up. All right, guys. So here it is, the finished product. I think it came out good. Like, looks good, runs good. It's all kind of blacked out with the black... Uh, rack on it so let's go over cost and see how much this uh, this whole bike cost alright guys so that's it the total cost for all the parts was 345 38 
That's for everything, including a new tire. The rest of it was just labor. I had to drain the tank, uh, fresh fuel, and all that kind of stuff. So um, I enjoyed this build. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you like watching this video and you want to see more content, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.